Hello and welcome Aries. This is your September 2023 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. Um, and if you like my work you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas now Aries. What we will do here we will divide the reading into sections so it's a little bit easier to understand if that makes sense. Uh, so we will look at the overall energy for the months of September for the sign of Aries. Before we then go into your emotional core, see if there's things that can go, uh, maybe there's love coming in, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities. And opportunities oftentimes are about what uh, sustains you. Um, so it has to do with, you know, the, the career path as such. And sometimes that's not the case at all. Sometimes it's just about um, what comes your way um, that can aid you on your growth, if that makes sense. In any case, before we continue, I want you to remember always that the sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night, and you are the ruler of your own destiny. Are you ready, Aries? Let's do this. So we're looking at the overall energy first and the card fell out and I was trying to actually um, <laughs> shuffle. I shuffle the deck. I'm using the uh, Star Codes Astro Oracle deck uh, by, hang on, what's the lady's name? Heather Rowan Robbins. It's an amazing deck. It's an astrology deck. Um, but I am uh, asking the guides to give me all the information I need for the entire reading. It, it tends to flow a little better that way, even though we will divide it into sections. Aries, are you ready? So the energy here that Aries has is um, a reminder of who you are. You have to just focus on yourself. The reason why this is important is because the, the overall energy has to do with solar flares. So the sun, I mentioned it already, is the, is the ruler of the day. The sun is what gives you your zest for life. And the sun, because it takes up so much space, can feel a bit rigid, a bit, hmm, what's the word, immobile almost, if that makes sense. So Aries, you are the first sign. Your entire energy is to go forward and to not move back. But because you have solar flares, which is something the sun is bombarded with, if that makes sense, what you are asked is to understand that you will come across some sort of a... It feels like a plateau. So whatever it is you're doing, you're doing it very well, but you plateau a little. So there is like stumbling blocks. There is like, oh, I'm not quite getting there. And you need to be a bit of... Pa you need to have a bit of patience with yourself, not with anybody else, because in your energy, you're the first sign, but your life begins in spring, right? So you're the first sign. Um, and the reason why you start at the first sign is because of the of the spring equinox. So now in September, we're moving into the um, autumn equinox on the 23rd, when things are naturally falling away that aren't for you. And this month, therefore, for your sign, Aries, is the last push to push through it. Now, remember, you're plateauing a little. Um, it doesn't flow so well when you look at sorting out issues. But you have, that's why the guides are saying it to you, to understand that while your energy is a bit down, your job is to be yourself. Now, what does that mean? It means that the Aries imprint is to activate strength. There's nothing behind you. Everything is in front of you, right? So you are the person that literally pushes through, oftentimes for everybody else. But it is in your nature to be that person that is pushy. And what the guides are asking you, look at your life. Remember, this is the over energy. This is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you. But my belief has always been that the people who need to find the video or, the, or who need to find the reading... Uh, and, and who need to listen to that message will find the video. In any case, what you are asked not to do is to procrastinate and to go into frustration because it does nothing for you. Your job is to activate, and it sounds a bit harsh, 
your own pushiness. You will push through this when you say, like, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix this. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to figure this out. Despite the fact that at this point in time, you may feel a bit of resistance from yourself and maybe a bit of fatigue. That's another important thing. Now, remember, we are moving into autumn, which is the time of letting go, which also then translates into not necessarily being super pushy anyway. But in order for you to, to um, progress properly, if that makes sense, um, while you may feel a bit under the weather, so to speak, uh, for, for the months of September, activate your pushiness. Right? So that is the overall energy for the very first sign, which is Aries. Now, the, the one in the middle, like normally in a reading, the one in the middle is the most important. Here, it is not quite the case. We're dividing uh, uh, the reading into sections. But the section that is now here is the section of your emotional core. How do you truly feel? Now, let me just show this to you. Your first card, solar flare card, has the number 17, right? One and seven is eight. Um, so eight can be the number of stumbling blocks. The next card here is where the guides are saying to you, the next card here is the south note, right? But it has the number 33 on it. I don't know if you can see this here. It has the number 33. Now, in astrology, only 11 and 22 are proper master numbers because only they fit into a calendar. But 33 slash 6 is still a minor master number. The problem that we're having with this is that what will come up for you to overcome is anything that still sits inside you from your past. Now, it makes sense because, I, like I said, you know, this is September. We are moving into, into autumn, the time where naturally things attempt to fall off and they will fall off provided you're not holding on to it, which is exactly why the number 33 is so important because the number 33, which is 3 and 3, is 6. 6 is the number of, of the element of ether. Now, ether, even though we're not using it anymore, is the element of glue, almost super glue. So at this point in time, holding on is what you do well. And what you're being asked is to not do that. Allow yourself to feel all that you feel. Allow yourself to understand, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I'm carrying stuff around with me that doesn't really suit me anymore, right? Um, there's a, a really sort of, um, it's almost like a trick. You remove yourself. Remember, we commit a little detachment anyway. So you remove, you remove yourself. And then you ask yourself, based on how you're feeling with regards to your emotions, and it is about old stuff that still sits inside you. If that makes you less capable of doing things, if that makes you yourself worse, a little bit less, and you remove yourself, would you want your best friend to go through these feelings? If the answer is, hell no, <laughs> then the, the, the logical conclusion here is to push through it. And that's what you're being asked to. Again, you are Aries. You are by default a bit... Sounds wrong when we say to people you're pushy, but it's not always a negative thing. It just means like you're a doer. You get shit done. Not everybody gets stuff done. You are getting stuff done. It is one of your strengths, not your weaknesses that not everybody can deal with it, is a different topic. Bottom line is you have the thousand node, which is your karmic energy and your past. Even though, luckily, in a way, I'm not getting anything to do with, with karma here for you uh, emotional core this month. But this is the month where the, where the guides are asking you to understand that as the sign that comes to life in spring, you will feel the change of seasons massively that might be one of Aries' lesser good points. And we're moving into autumn, right? Or fall, as, as your American viewers say. But we're moving into autumn. So therefore, it is about letting go, which is not necessarily your strengths. I get that. And that's exactly why the guides are saying to you, when it comes to your emotional core, before a relationship you're in can really, can, can really thrive and blossom, and before you can manifest a new relationship that really blossoms, if that makes sense. 
Um, your job is to learn to let things go. And the point here is, because we're moving into autumn, energetically speaking, the more you can let go before uh, September 23rd, the easier this gets. Okie dokie. Now, finally, we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of uh, September. Now, again, remember your first card was 17, 1 and 7 is 8. Your last card, or your last energy, is another 8. In old-fashioned numerology, 8 denotes stumbling blocks of thoughts. The idea is you see things from a different point of view. You change how you see things. Therefore, you topple over the 8, it becomes infinity. What you are asked is to investigate where it is you want to go instead of hoping that there is some sort of opportunities coming your way. What the guides are asking you, Aries, is to not continue what you do blindly. Should you be lucky enough to have found your, your passion, to have found your path, they're not asking you to abandon the path, but just following the path as though this, this, this is all there is would be a mistake this month. You have to investigate in the area, let's just say, where that, that you thrive in, that you work in. Is there more I can do? And be your pushy self. It is not a negative trait to be um, a tut pushy, right? Also, it's an Aries trait. There's not much you can really do, right? Anyway, Aries, that's, um, that concludes your September 23, 2023 general reading and until we meet again i want you to remember that the sun is the ruler of the day the moon is the ruler of the night and you are the ruler of your own destiny see you next time